Hey, welcome to a new video. Animals laying their eggs and giving birth in general is always special. And today, we're going to talk about 10 most amazing ways animals lay their eggs. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 10. The Reed Warbler, a medium-sized warbler found in reed beds is a delightful summer visitor to the UK. It showcases its remarkable nest building skills by weaving a sling-like structure between two or three reed stems where it lays a clutch of three to five eggs. These eggs become the center of attention for both parents who form monogamous pairs and diligently care for the chicks by providing them with a nourishing diet of insects. Unfortunately, the reed warbler is often targeted by blood parasitism from cuckoos. The female cuckoo cleverly takes advantage of the warbler's nest, secretly laying her own egg and slipping away unnoticed. Once hatched, the cunning cuckoo chick dominates the nest, forcefully evicting the warbler's own eggs and chicks. This manipulation allows the foster parents to focus all of their efforts on feeding the cuckoo chick alone. Number 9. Easter Painted Turtles, on the other hand, have a somewhat different strategy. After the mating, the female painted turtle ventures out of the water to create her nest, a task undertaken between May and July. The search for a suitable nesting site can take her on a journey spanning a few yards or even half a mile, often requiring her to navigate obstacles like fences, rows, and yards. With precision, she excavates a hole of approximately 6 inches in depth and carefully deposits a clutch of up to 11 eggs within it. Completing her duty, the female painted turtle meticulously covers the eggs with soil and makes her way back to the water, content in the knowledge that her role in the reproductive process has been fulfilled. A period of anticipation ensues as the eggs incubate for approximately 72 days, typically hatching in the late days of August through early September. Number 8. Although centipedes are occasionally encountered in households, locating their eggs can be a challenging task. Typically, centipede eggs are deposited in the soil. In temperate regions, centipedes tend to lay their eggs during the spring and summer seasons. However, in subtropical and the tropical areas, centipedes have the flexibility to lay eggs at any time throughout the year. Centipedes are predominantly solitary creatures and most species engage in mating without direct contact. Male centipedes spin small webs where they deposit their sperm. Females then locate these webs, take the men, and internally fertilize their own ova. However, certain species do exhibit courtship rituals as part of their mating process. The locations and habits of centipede egg laying vary among species. Some females coil around their eggs providing protection against predators, and even lick them to remove potential mole spores. Despite these efforts, there are instances where females may abandon their eggs following disturbances. At this point, fungi may begin to grow and consume the abandoned eggs. The majority of centipede species lay eggs that hatch into miniature versions of the adult centipedes. Upon hatching, these young centipedes possess only a fraction of their full set of legs they gradually acquire the remaining legs through a series of molting processes as they continue to grow and develop. Number 7. A leafy sea dragon is a close relative of a seahorse. Similar to its seahorse relatives, the male leafy sea dragon assumes the responsibility of carrying the eggs of its mate. However, unlike seahorses, male sea dragons lack a pouch for this purpose. Instead, as the mating season approaches, a brood patch develops on the underside of the male's tail. This specialized region contains capillaries that supply oxygen-rich blood to the cup-like tissue, ensuring the well-being of the eggs. The female sea dragon transfers up to 300 eggs to the male's brood patch, where fertilization takes place. The male diligently cares for the eggs until they hatch, which occurs approximately four weeks later. Newly hatched leafy sea dragons possess a sufficient yolk reserve that can sustain them for two to three days. From the moment of birth, they must rely on their instincts to find their own sources of sustenance, such as zooplankton and baby mice. What also makes leafy sea dragons interesting is the fact that they mate for life and spend most of their lives in pairs. 
inhabiting a small area of kelp forest around 30 feet by 30 feet. Number 6. Speaking of awesome egg laying methods, we can't help but mention a weaver ant. Within an ant colony, the queen ant assumes the crucial role of being the primary egg layer. The process begins with the ants engaging in a mating flight. During this event, the queen ant engages in a mid-air courtship flight with a male ant. In this mesmerizing display, the male transfers sperm to the seminal receptacle of the queen and subsequently perishes. Following the mating flight, the queen ant returns to the ground sheds her wings and diligently searches for a secure location to lay her eggs. Within this safe haven, the queen lays her eggs and attentively tends to them until they hatch. It is worth noting that this nurturing duty is a one-time task for the queen, as once the worker ants emerge, they assume the responsibility of caring for her and all future eggs. Number 5. During the breeding season, Magpie geese engage in a remarkable nesting behavior. They seek out secluded areas near wetlands to construct their nests. Surprisingly, it is primarily the male that takes charge of nest building, showcasing his abilities. Pairs of magpie geese demonstrate remarkable faithfulness as they mate for life, although it is possible for a male to have two females in his company. On occasion, two females may even share the same nest to lay their large, oval-shaped, off-white colored eggs. Once the eggs are laid, the responsibility of incubation and care falls upon the entire adult group. They collectively contribute to the nurturing and protection of the young, exemplifying the cooperative nature of magpie geese in raising their offspring. Number 4. Harlequin Filefish The orange-spotted filefish is a species known for its monogamous behavior forming lifelong pair bonds even outside the mating season. They epitomize the notion of commitment, as they only seek new partners if one of them passes away. This unwavering loyalty drives their aggression, as they fiercely defend their mate and territory against intruders. Following their courtship rituals, which involves ramming each other, the female begins the process of spawning by depositing her eggs on the surface of algae. Concurrently, a playful chase ensues between the male and the female, culminating in the male fertilizing all the eggs with the sperm. Once this process is complete, the orange spotted filefish exhibit no parental care, leaving the young to fend for themselves from the moment of birth. Number 3. Male brush turkeys also have a fascinating story, as they take on the responsibility of gathering vegetation from the garden or forest floor. They utilize this gathered vegetation to construct a remarkable incubation mound, which can reach impressive dimensions. Once the mound is complete, the female brush turkey proceeds to lay approximately 18 to 24 white eggs within it, with intervals of 2 to 3 days between each egg. The decomposition process of the vegetation within the mound generates heat, which plays a crucial role in incubating the eggs. Maintaining an optimal temperature of around 93.2 degrees Fahrenheit is vital for successful incubation. The male burst turkey diligently monitors and regulates this temperature by removing or adding layers to the mound as necessary. Number 2. During the spring and summer seasons, monarch butterfly eggs come into existence. The process initiates when a female butterfly alights on a milkweed plant leaf with her abdomen Curved towards the leaf's underside, she carefully deposits the egg onto the surface, aided by a sticky substance that ensures its adherence. This process continues as the female moves from leaf to leaf, laying a single egg on each one. Remarkably, a single female monarch butterfly can lay up to 700 eggs. Butterflies and moths, while not providing direct care for their young after hatching, exhibit a profound instinct in selecting the appropriate host plant on which to lay their eggs. These plants serve as a source of food for the newly emerged caterpillars. For monarch butterflies, the preferred host plant is milkweed. The female monarchs typically deposit a single egg on a milkweed plant, often choosing the bottom of a leaf near the plant's apex. Number 1. Red-eyed tree frogs are found in the lush neotropical rainforests of Central America, with a limited presence in South America. 
These unique frogs primarily inhabit tropical lowland and montane forests characterized by continuous forest cover. They displayed a preference for areas near rivers and ponds, as these water bodies play a crucial role in their reproductive cycle. In the realm of scientific research, Warkington has dedicated considerable time studying the phenomenon of environmentally cued hatching in red-eyed tree frogs since the 1990s. One fascinating discovery made during these studies was that the embryos of these frogs possessed an intriguing ability to hatch early, thus avoiding potential snake attacks. This revelation challenged the prevailing notion in evolutionary biology that embryos simply followed a predetermined developmental program without active responses to external stimuli. What was the most fascinating egg laying process from today's video for you? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one of the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.